Hello everybody. So today I'm gonna to be talking about an awesome topic on why you should, shouldn't loot small businesses. Now this should seem like a pretty interesting topic by itself, but I want to throw my own little twist. Now I see people talking about why looting targets bad and looting small businesses bad. None of that matters. What you shouldn't do is loot small businesses. But what you should do is not just keep looting targets. What do you get in that target? Really, nothing useful. Like, no one goes to the target. Last time with the target, it was empty. Because I went in there when it was closed. Because I was looting it. And you want to know the benefits of looting the target? No one's going to care. Right? Wrong. I care. Because if you keep looting fucking targets, you're not getting anything of value. But if you go to Walmart instead, you can get many more things much easier because people care. They provide good quality products sometimes at low, low prices. Now, the first topic is, of course, what Walmart instead should be looted. Go into a Walmart. How often do you see useless products? Very rarely. Go into a Target and the entire store is useless. Now, I'm not saying you should loot stores. I'm just saying if you're gonna loot a store, bro, loot a Walmart or a Best Buy or a Radio Shack. Why are you going to Target? Target doesn't offer anything of value to the human race. So there's no point in looting it because it's gonna die out anyways. So just let it die. All you're doing is giving insurance companies a bad time, right? They're not even like covering good things. If they were covering good products, it wouldn't be so bad with the covering Target products. And I know that Crunch Bar is tasty. I know that PlayStation 76 is pretty epic. Well, go to a Walmart and loot it. Don't go to Earth. Don't go to Target, dude. They're already bad at business, dude. They're already having a bad time. Don't make it worse for them. And don't make it worse for your local insurance company either. Because they got to pay out. Next thing is, why I hate Walmart. Walmart is, is gay. It's dumb. It ruined my career, dude. All those low, low prices, which I love. <sighs> By the way, those Lolo prices are disgusting. You know how they get them? Child slavery on Mars. That's right, Martian child slavery. You might be thinking, how the fuck did they get Martian child slaves? Elon Musk. He might seem like a good guy. He might seem like a superhero. He might seem like Tony Stark, but without all the ego. But with all the ego as well. That's wrong. Because he supports child slavery on Mars. Why do you think he wants to get the Mars so bad, eh? Why do you think he wants to plant? Because he wants those child slaves for himself. Walmart got there first, and now he wants to get it back. And it's disgusting. I absolutely despise what this man is doing to the world. But it's not bad. It's not too bad in a way. It could be a lot worse. And this is why my final topic of this video is why Walmart's low, low prices are pretty awesome still. Child slavery is bad, right? It's not good. But, I do enjoy cheap products. And I'm not gonna lie, they're pretty epic. The first good thing about cheap products is they cost very little money. You might be thinking, no shit, Sherlock. That's why they're cheap. But, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I'm your host, Carl Marx. And the rest of this is going to be Bloom Tower Defense. Yeah, but thank you. Uh, you guys thought that I wasn't going to continue the video, that I was just going to end it right there. I've got one more thing to talk about. Why race wars are good. Now you might be thinking, again, Elijah, you're kind of crazy. Race wars aren't really good. People dying isn't a good thing. Unless they're dying for a cause I agree with. Which I do. The murdering of cops. You might be thinking, whoa, 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 whoa. 
can't just kill police officers. That's as mean, you know? Sure, they have, you know, the power to unjustly harm people. And sure, they have uh, essentially unchecked control over communities and cities. But I'm going to counter that with, what are you, racist? Huh? You racist, buddy? All cops matter? That sounds like racism to me, pal. Black cops, they aren't real. They're government shills to keep you thinking that the police are there to protect you. When in reality, when in reality, they're there to steal your donuts. You know that's true. I know it's true. I seen them do it. I was walking down the street and a cop said, yo, give me your donuts. And I was like, no, officer. Didn't be my donuts. I earned them. And then he shot me in the face. I died. I died. I died. I died. And it was not fun. And then when I was dead, he took my donuts. They didn't even compensate me. They didn't even give me a high five or a thank you. They just shot me, killed me, and stole my donuts. I have never been such heavily violated by the police. As a black man, I find it disgraceful at what they did. You can shoot me. You can't take my door. That's messed up. It's messed up, bro. Like, really? I'm... You know, I... Sorry, I'm getting a little teared up. In a way. In a way. All cops are bad. Except the good ones. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. I'm your host, Billie Jean. Not my lover. <laughs>